in my recent review of Shadow Warrior from 97, I talked briefly about the, the nature of offensive jokes and, you know, around, you know, the, the 80s and 90s. And I figured I should maybe give some examples of the right way to do offensive jokes. Where Shadow Warrior, the offensive jokes are at the expense of Asians and Asian culture. You know, Duke, Duke Nukem 3D did a lot better because it was like American culture. You know, it was Americans poking fun at themselves, at their own culture. Now, I don't suppose this really counts as a spoiler. It's not really plot related, but I am going to give away what I consider to be a great joke from right after one of the boss battles in Duke Nukem 3D. So, if you are at all inclined to play Duke Nukem 3D, Definitely do so, it's a great game. And yeah, pause this video until you have done so. Yeah, once he's killed one of the bosses, he goes up to the corpse, rips the head off, squats over, like, you know, the, the throat and neck of this giant creature, gets out, a, you know, a paper, and he's sitting there taking a dump down the, the throat of this big creature, and that that is funny, and you know, it is offensive, it's gross, it's disgusting, and it's, but no one's being hurt by this. I, I suppose you could say it's maybe disrespectful to, like, the, the deceased and those, the, the related to the deceased, but again, it's, and because it's so outlandish, I would say that it doesn't really, if, if this was a human being, you could argue that, but because it is this space alien that, you know, it's like several stories high and just clear, it has humanoid features some, but it's clearly not human, and it's, it's, so, yeah, so it's so outlandish that it isn't really, it's not close enough to, you know, real deceased people and their families that it could really offend them. And again, it's actually really funny, which, again, Shadow Warriors, really. And it's, it's, it's in part because it is so American. And I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, hate on American culture, I, I like quite a lot of it, it's, it's so typical, American. it's, it's like a Western a cowboy kind of thing, you know, he, he completely took out his enemy, and, you know, he, and now he's, like, humiliating this enemy, and just completely, and, yeah, he, he pwned him, you know, it's completely, and it's, it's going off that, you know, it's, 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 a relatively early example of a video game or movie doing something where it really is, you know, that that character pones the the enemy, and yeah, that's that's funny. We're we're cheering him on. We're enjoying it, as you know, we we were the ones who just sat there and controlled Duke to make him win, and this is this is our reward, you know. So that's yeah, that's an offensive joke that actually works, and that's an example of how Duke Nukem does things like that without, yeah, and like I say in the Shadow Warrior room, yes, Doom 3D is still offensive from a feminist standpoint. And now I am going to talk about Married with Children, so also, I'm not certain which season this is from, but, you know, it started in 87, ended in 97, so yeah, late 80s, early 90s, or early to late 90s, anyway, yeah, it was a, still a time where, you know, offensive jokes were being made in media, you know, in mainstream media, and yeah, the, the, so again, if you haven't watched, yeah, definitely watch, it's, it's a hilarious show, and I, I, I realize today that it's incredibly offensive, but it's also just, and also just in general, it did, not every time, but there were a lot of times where the offensive jokes would make a point, and yeah, and, and a lot of the time they were also at the expense of the the person. You know, we're laughing 
a lot of the time we're laughing at Al. You know, and he's the real, you know, he is the the kind of person who would make really offensive jokes. He's yeah, he's a, a real jerk. He doesn't care that much about other people, but we're laughing at him when the offensive jokes happen. So, yeah. It's similar to in Two and a Half Men, a bunch of the time we are laughing at Jake. You know, did she... Jake, Alan, I don't remember. Charlie. We're laughing at Charlie. You know, it's him being foiled in his attempts to womanize. And that's funny. You know, an episode where he has to... It, yeah, just... Anyway, Married with Children. Briefly, for those who don't know about just, you know, the, the scene features Peggy and Marcy, and basically they are these suburban housewives who don't really care about other people. Like, you know, Peggy is poor but spends all her money on stuff she'll never need instead of feeding the family, and Marcy earns a lot, but she also doesn't really care about people who don't make as much money as her particularly so yeah we have these two people who are and, and again that is that is offensive but again yeah it has some truth to it there there were a number of women raising families who didn't really do the who didn't make the right choices in in that kind of but yeah they you know they're walking through you know like a bad neighborhood. I don't remember exactly why. But then, you know, they, they come upon this this homeless man and they're like, oh, this yeah. you know, the, the you know, the stereotypes. You know, he might be crazy. He might be rather we, we have to be careful. And then, you know, they, they stop and they're like, you know what? We should really this guy might not have done anything to deserve being homeless. You know, they go up and ask, what 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 put you out here? Where were you unfairly fired from your job and he responds I have a job I'm I, I don't remember exactly I want to say he says I'm a public school teacher and then to further add to the punchline these two women who usually don't really care about other people and where you maybe think that oh well if he has a job then he doesn't need a handout they like immediately okay you you we you know immediately they're giving him some that's funny that is super offensive that is saying that as a teacher you might as well be homeless you know you could be you could pass for a homeless person that's super offensive but it starts the conversation and it's sad that here you know let's let's say it was a first season joke you know 87 what's that eight carry the one i'm terrible at math and i'm yeah, I, I don't know, 18, 28, it's somewhere between 28 and 18 years. And it hasn't really, not much, has, you know, almost 30 years. Not that much has changed. The, you know, they're, they're still making almost nothing and just barely getting by. And that's the, you know, we're not laughing at this teacher we're not laughing at teachers we're laughing at the absurdity of the reality that teachers don't make enough money they can they can work full time and not be able to really get by and you know back then it was completely you know back then it was much more of an exaggeration today we really you know because the wage stagnation you legitimately can be working you know you can be several people in the same household working more than one full-time job but if you're the working minimum wage and some have to you can't make ends meet so it's yeah it's it's funnier slash sadder since then and yeah that's you know yeah those are two examples of jokes that i feel are the the good kind of offensive joke